I want to preface this video by saying that I play Helldivers 2 exclusively solo. Yes, you heard that right. Helldivers 2, a game made for co-op I'm choosing to play alone. And overall, I'm actually loving it. But there are a few key issues that I believe, if addressed, will drastically improve not only the solo experience, but also what the game has to offer as a whole. Now, before you type, either now or after you listen to the points I'm about to bring up, trust me, I know what you're thinking, please understand that Helldivers 2 being designed around co-op is irrelevant. Case in point, other games that are also designed around co-op. Risk of Rain 2, GTFO, Deep Rock Galactic, heck, even games like Valheim. All of these games are, at the very least, co-op mindful, but the key difference between them and Helldivers 2 is that they do not neglect solo play. All of these other titles have various methods of dealing with the innate impact that solo play has on a co-op game. For example, Deep Rock Galactic and GTFO give you AI companions that can perform various tasks, and such tasks are not limited to helping you kill stuff. They can collect loot, scout a certain area, etc. And for games like Risk of Rain 2 or Valheim, well, those games are straight up balanced. You don't get any boost for being solo because you don't need it in the first place. The devs have already gone through the necessary legwork to ensure that both solo and party play are equally enjoyable. All of that to say, justifying anything unbalanced in Helldivers 2 as a simple fact of choosing to play solo is an incorrect take. So please do not bother. That being said, let me get into the reasons why I believe Helldivers 2 needs a serious balance patch in the near future. Again, I am coming from all of this from a solo mindset, but I'd wager that some of the issues that I raise here can easily be applied to group play as well. But instead of me telling you about the issues, allow me to simply show you. All right, let's start here with a few clips that I have just showcasing some of the issues that I've had with Helldivers 2. First of which is explosion damage. I want to make note that in all of the clips that you see, period, but especially these ones right now, I'm wearing heavy armor, which reduces explosion damage by 50%. At least that's what it's supposed to do. So let's start here with this clip. In this clip, you'll see that I take a direct impact from a rocket right there, and you can see my health bar in the bottom left corner. You'll see my health bar right here in the bottom left goes down to about half HP as soon as the rocket hits me. You can see that. So it looks like it's working as intended on that one, right? All right. So let's go to the next clip here, and then all of a sudden you'll see another rocket hit me. Uh, I died from the impact damage there on the wall, but you see again, right when the rocket hits me, it lose about half health. It's still a little weird. It's like, you know, around half, maybe, uh, maybe like, you know, I lose 40%, so slightly less than half. But then I, you know, bounce around on the rocks, which I think is a problem in and of itself. You know, I shouldn't die from just hitting my head on the rock right there. I mean, obviously, like, you know, real life blunt force trauma, all that stuff. But there are other times where I've, like, literally flown across the map, snapped my neck on a rock, and I'm, like, totally fine. In this case, I decided Direct to die right impact. there, so whatever. Direct Next impact. clip here, though, you'll see that as soon as I get impacted by the rocket, boom, one shot. Literally one shot. There's nothing I could have done about that. All right, let's go frame by frame real quick. Let's see this real quick as I go through the rock. Look at that right there. Does that not look like it's hitting the tip of the rock? I'm just saying right now. This is a whole different uh, thing in and of itself. Again, you can see the rock clearly. I'm sorry for the pixelation, by the way. This is not a local recording. This is off of my live stream, which uh, looks pretty poopy. I'll have to try and figure that out. But look at that. I think I had to go straight through the rock. But regardless, uh, you can see that rocket comes in, hits me. I instantly die. In these clips, I went down to, you know, 40% HP or 60% in this one. Took 40% damage. This one, I took half HP damage. This one straight up just kills me. So now you might be thinking, okay, well, the rockets must do different amounts of damage then, right? So this was from a Hulk bruiser. This one was from a regular rocket infantry Three dude. Rockets. You can see right there. And this one was also from a regular, I think this was actually from one of the, I don't know what they're called, but they're the big bulky guys with the armor plating on them and stuff. Um, I believe that was the case. But you'll see in this clip right here, I will take an explosion damage from the back, which I believe was from a Hulk bruiser. If I would rewind this clip, I'm pretty sure. I'm, yeah, you can see the bullets actually chase me right now. Those big laser beams, those are definitely from a Hulk bruiser right there. So you see right there, instantly died to an explosion. And we keep going here. Another clip. Full health. Get directly hit by an explosion. Half HP. Another clip right here. Directly hit by an explosion. Instantly die. This final clip right here, another regular rocket soldier, boom, instantly die. And it's not even a headshot. So some of you might be thinking, oh, maybe the rocket hits you in the head, instantly blows you up. Nope, that rocket definitely does not hit me in the head. You can see my head is fully intact when it hits me. My head didn't explode or anything. Just, I'm dead. It's that simple. So explosion damage, extremely, extremely inconsistent. And it's very frustrating. There has to be some sort of bug in there. Please look at that, developers. Please, please, please. This next clip here also has to do with explosions, but it's based on the uh, the knockback, the shockwave, basically. When it hits an object, if you are just in that radius, it doesn't matter if you're fully behind the object. The object, this one is not super solid. I believe you can destroy these crates that I'm standing behind. If I'm standing behind a completely solid rock that cannot be destroyed, I still, if I'm in the radius of the normal radius of the explosion, I'll be knocked back as if there was nothing in front of me, which is stupid. That shouldn't happen. See right here? I am totally behind cover. There's nothing in front of me. And then I got shot by a rocket to my left. Look at that. 
He shot by the rocket to my left, and I get knocked back. Like, that shouldn't happen in any situation. That just should not happen. That's super annoying. Please look into that as well. All right. This next clip here is uh, also to do with kind of a physics and uh, the, the, the ragdoll effect. So I think it's just overtuned, honestly. Like, it's cool. It's it's fun to be knocked back and ragdolled and stuff like that, but not in situations that you're about to see like this. Look at this right here. Look how far I go. You ready for this? Nobody can see me. <laughs> Look out. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely right, ridiculous. Can see me. In what situation is that okay? Like, it's hard to even see how it popped. Like, what did I... Right, I didn't do anything. It's see so me. far away from me. Probably it's a trap. I don't know. They look identical. These bulbs that you see right here in the bottom left-hand corner look identical to the ones that I'm running into right there. No? Look at this. Look at those over there. Those look like identical to me. So maybe not. Maybe they're different. I don't know. Maybe walk through a trap. Me. But still, the, the ragdoll, uh, it's a little overtuned there. Please tone that down. Because it can lead you into some pretty frustrating situations like this. So here is me on difficulty 8 solo, mind you. I'm about to be done with uh, this quest right here. Destroy the automaton Come facilities. On, I lob a nade there. I get there right there. That's 5 out of 7 completed. Cool. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then I have the last two right in front of me. See them right there. Both the remaining two automaton facilities are right there. So I'm making them, I'm making them, uh, baby, my way into it. We're good. All of a sudden... Uh oh, no, another explosive no, trap no, knocks me back no, into no, all these enemies right here, instantly die. So please look at the the knockback coefficient, if we want to call it that, of the ragdoll, of the plants and stuff like that. And even explosions sometimes can be kind of nutty. So these next clips here have to do with respawning. In group play, when you respawn, your teammates respawn you themselves. Meaning they call in a stratagem, they type one of those little codes, they throw down a beacon, and whatever that beacon is, that's where you will respawn. In solo play, guess what? You have no control over where you respawn. The game literally just chooses a random area around where you died, chooses a random spot in that area, bada bing, bada boom, that's where you're respawning. And it leads to stuff like this. Look at this. Is that fair? Is that fair? I just respawned. I have no control over this. It just spawns me right in the middle of all these enemies. And of course, what do you think the end result's gonna be? That. Right there. Right there. That's exactly the result. And it happens all the freaking time. Here's another example here where I'm just running away, I'm running away, running away. I got like a tank behind me and stuff. I get exploded. Oops, got knocked up. Oops, can't do anything about it. Oops, oops, CC. Very fun. Losing control of my character. It's very fun. Then I respawn. Guess where it puts me? Here's a tank right there, by the way. See that tank right there? It's like, yeah, you wanna be next to that tank, right? Yeah, you want to be right next to that tank, right, bro? That's where you want to be, right, man? Yeah, sounds good, man. Sounds good. And then, of course, there's like a billion other enemies. I think I die here again, too. There are, so, yeah, there, there are a ton of enemies around. It's not just the tank, right? It's like three firing squads all in different locations. It's ridiculous. So spawn points in solo. Just make it so that I can choose where to spawn. I know it's going to map out a random radius or a, a radius around where I died. Just let me choose a spawn point in that radius myself. There's no reason for me randomly respawning. It's ridiculous. All right, speaking of spawning, this is not respawning. This is choosing to spawn in general. This map is a lie. Let me tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, this map right here, the red heat map right there, that's a lie. All those red spots you see, lies. They're lies. I'm telling you right now. And here's case in point. So right here, so right here I choose so if I drop here, I'm to have actually, enemies, I'll let myself what? describe like it. If I choose to drop like here, I'm still going to have enemies. I'm going to drop on a patrol. I'm going to drop on a patrol here, patrol here. Like There's like no place for me to drop here. I might as well go to the extract zone, right? Might as well just full send. Okay, so in this case, I choose to extract, or to, to spawn in, sorry, at the extraction zone. And then bam, wow, would you look at that? Where I spawn in, there are literally no enemies wow, around whatsoever. So it has nothing to do with the place being an extraction zone. It has nothing to do with the place being a hot zone. It's just, it's a dice roll whether or not you spawn on enemies. And here is another example of that. Right, well, uh, so here no again, I'm choosing here, where to spawn. Uh, and look at that. Well, look where my cursor is. It's like dead center between all all those red zones. I'm like, okay, surely I won't spawn on any guys. That's the tank. This it spawns me in literally on a look tank. Like, how are you supposed to deal with that? Again, look at where my cursor is relative to the heat map. Look at that. Look at that. There is nothing there. There is literally but, uh, nothing there whatsoever. There is no the blinking red anywhere. And I'm, I'm spawning but, uh, on a rock on the map. Shot by stuff look at that where it goes. Yourself. See, I'm like spawning on a rock. I'm like, I have to be safe over there, right? And if you're thinking, oh, it's because uh, the, the map only shows you where the outposts and stuff are. Okay, cool. Is there any reason for the map to not show enemy patrols and whatnot? Really? It's, it's like a massive ship doing a massive scan of the system. Like... Isn't it going to show me where all of the enemies are? At least give me like a, a ticking updated radar or something, right? Like, hey, there are probably enemies roughly in this vicinity. You might not want to drop there. The map is a total lie. And again, it's not even to do with a, like an extraction point of some kind. Like some people are claiming, oh, extraction zones always have enemies on them. You never want to drop at your extraction zone. This is exactly an extraction zone. Look, no enemies whatsoever. And here, there's nothing on my screen. And then I drop in, boom, I drop directly on a patrol. And if you're playing on the higher difficulties, let me tell you what. If you drop on a patrol, especially a tank patrol with other enemies around it, you're probably just dead. You're just dead right off the bat. You just lost the mission, essentially. It's, it's ridiculous. This game needs a patch. This game needs a balance patch. I don't care about bugs. I don't care about, like, bugs are fine, right? Whatever. It, like, every game's gonna have bugs. I don't care. It's not, it's not, not even because it's early access. It's not early access. It's a full release game. There are very little bugs, actually. 
The only bug that's really annoying is the, the double damage explosive bug, which it's not the impact. Don't type the impact. It's not the impact. This game desperately needs a balance patch, though. I like there's no point in me taking the game seriously when it does that, you know? I, this game just I, I want to play this game. I want to grind the harder difficulty. I want to do all of that. And don't even try to do like, oh, you're playing on the hardest difficulty and you're complaining. Yeah, yeah, dude, because there are valid complaints about the game. Like you can be on a hard difficulty and get frustrated from stuff that shouldn't be there. Right? The dif the difficulty should come from the game actually being difficult. Not whatever the heck's going on with this. So anyway, see you boys. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, and I'll catch you on Thursday. Peace out.